So we're at Penguin. Of course, Penguin has a big penguin. The big penguin in Penguin. First settled in 1861, this area. It's all little fairy peng penguins come up here and there's a viewing platform. So we're going to have a look, see where that is. How pretty is Penguin? Like all of Tasmania. It's like everything in Penguin's got penguins on it, even the rubbish bin. How cool. So this is the three sisters. We can see two of the sisters. I think the third one's just around the corner. This coastline is just stunning in Tassie. So this is just east of Penguin, about I don't know, four, four kilometres east. So this is Goat Island Nature Reserve. Okay, so we're just here. I'm going to show you the three different camps along this stretch of water just near Penguin. So this first one is the Preservation Bay one, which is the council um, free park. And then just over that hill over there is Midpoint. And then about the same distance further on again is um, Hall Point Sulphur Creek. So I'll show you all three of them, but we'll do this one first. Preservation Bay Campground is situated right at the Penguin Surf Life Saving Club. Um, all these three camps you've got really good phone reception and TV reception because you're really close to town and they've all got spectacular views. Straight across the road, cows and dairy farms. So it's, it's just a beautiful setting. And the ocean right against the water's edge is a train track. So we'll just go for a little wander down here. There's a kids play area. So this Preservation Bay is limited to a 48 hour stay and there's some conjecture about the other two because on Wiki some of them were showing 48 hours but don't believe they're actually run by the council. I think they're Crown Land which we read on Facebook so just check all that out. But you can see the position is just absolutely superb. Right at the surf beach. There's still a fair bit of room. You've got it all along the front here to park. Look, here's the mighty train line. Now this is, this is the biggest buzz ever. Like, they're goods trains, and Viv County has, say, 57 carriages on, on one of them, and three, um, three engines, but they come across just twice a day, so there's nothing at night, but it's great, and what a position for the driver. So it just goes up there around the corner. And you've got the surf club down here. They often have that closed off because the kids um, do nippers and whatever there. And the advantage here is you have got a garbage spot. The dump point's just in town, which is nothing. A few kilometres away and there's water available in there as well. So this is Midway Point, Sulphur Creek, in Tassie. This is our camping spot. This is a free camp. And wait till you see this. Like, Unbelievable, typical Tasmania. Look at that. It's just absolutely spectacular. Really good fishing off these rocks down here. People are out this morning. And that, that's us, so it's got full phone reception. Um, excellent TV. It's only a couple of minutes into town. Bernie, if you really want to go to the big smoke, or Big Smoke for Tassie, that's only 13 kilometres away. So, great, great location. There's three actual campgrounds in Sulphur Creek itself. All similar. But we're told this one, which is the middle point, is the best one. But I think the headland one is also... So this is the third of the camping reserves. This is Hall Point. Again, you've got the old train line. So it's, it's really nice. This is very sheltered from Wesley's and 
northerly winds. It's got an easterly aspect, so it's pretty pleasant. So it's not as big as some of the others, but if you can get in here, once you do get in here, see some pretty special and very private. Beautiful beach, which that's where we are up on there, midpoint. Caravans in the distance, but it's just beautiful to walk around here, just spectacular. So this is the dump point at Stubbs Point. This has to be the dump point with Australia's best view ever. So there's no water here, but you can get drinking water just over there through town. I'll take up there in a minute and have a look. That's the main town of Penguin just there. So this is only a couple of kilometres. So this is the main street of okay. Penguin. And just past this Penguin Brewing Co, this is where you get to get to the water. And the interesting thing is right in this middle of this intersection, the train line goes right through the middle of it. Never see anything like it. So just down here on the right. So that's it just there, near that little timber structure. Here's water. Little park at the end here. Weekends a lot of people have picnics down here. Just check out this intersection, never see anything like it. Like it's a four-way intersection and there's the train line going diagonally through it. So this is the scenic tourist drive to um, Alverston, which is about 10 kilometres, but runs right across the water where the, the Bass Highway is just inland a little bit. So I reckon this train drive has got the best view in Australia. It's running along the water's edge the whole way for kilometres. So this is Three Sisters Island. Here there's one, two and the third one there. That's Alverston Way in the background. And straight below us here, through this gully is the train line. <laughs> This is um, the tourist drive at Alverston and this is Butler's Beach and there's obviously a caravan park here on the right. But it's pretty empty so it's either, I would say expensive, but I don't know, we haven't looked it up. So Alverston along the waterfront has got lots of parks and there's a water park area and that's where most of the caravan parks are on the waterfront. It leads around to the wharf area. That, so Alverston is on the um, Levin River, Pedro Seafood. It's obviously a very popular holiday spot. It's just the end of January now, but there's still heaps of people around. Bridge across the river, Levin River. This is heading towards Burnie and Penguin, where we came from. 